Leia and it's my first ever YouTube video so I'm very excited well, and today I will be showing you how to take care of the guinea pigs so here's my guinea pig Oreo and and now and I'll be teaching you how to take care of them and to bond with them and all the stuff you'll need to get a guinea pig so let's get started so so mostly, lots of guinea pigs need big spaces. They don't need a big roof or a little roof. So mostly, if you want to, if you don't feel safe with your the guinea pig's cage with having a roof, you would it's totally fine to have a um a top onto the cage. But it has to be quite a big cage because guinea pigs love running around, and. They need lots of toys and TVs because most guinea pigs um they have they have to gnaw. So if they don't gnaw, you do you mostly um their teeth can get very long and sharp, and that's not very healthy for the guinea pig. So I don't reckon guinea pigs as well to um start a pet people who never never like people who don't have. They're not a starter pet guinea pigs because they're a big responsibility and I'm so sorry you couldn't hear my guinea pig, she's very happy right now. So, so mostly I also recommend you get, um, you get like a lot of hiding and burrowing with plenty of hay for them to hide in because guinea pigs love hay, they love the meadow hay and the timothy hay and because, and it's very healthy as well because they need it. Um, a lot of a digestive system because it's really good for them. So, and I'm going to show you the stuff that I need. So, mostly, you need a big, like, so, my guinea pig will keep it company. So, first of all, you'll need a bowl for them. This bowl is it has to be it can't be too small or too big because guinea pigs just need the right amount of size like this and my guinea pig wants to give me a hug right, this is the last thing i'll be showing you so mostly so now mostly you get um they need plenty of sticks because i love gnawing as you can see oreo absolutely loves it and the willow sticks are perfect for him so if you're ever in a pet shop finding some stuff for your guinea pig if you're going to get one I highly do recommend you get one of these willow balls because they're really good. As you can see, my guinea pigs are already chewed, most of them. As you can see, Oreo absolutely loves it. And make sure to subscribe right now for more guinea pig videos. And now I'm going to be showing you how you pick them up and carry them. So mostly... So mostly, if you want to pick your guinea pig up, they have very delicate spines. So mostly, when you go to pick them up, you get your, you scoop them up like this. But they have to bond with you. But you have to bond with them a little bit more for that. And to hold them, you put one. You to put one of his hands on the butt, get your hand and um, put it on its stomach. And if you have any issues, and that, and when you can't, and here are a few rules to do with your guinea pig. So make sure never to um, make sure never to hold your guinea. Make sure to never hold your guinea pigs while you're sick, because they can get sick really easy. So make sure you um, there's a vet nearby ready, because. 
If you sneeze or cough with one of your guinea pigs in your hand, they can get very sick. And fact number two, guinea pigs are really good in pairs. So if you're thinking about getting one, you can put them in a small group or two guinea pigs because guinea pigs love being together. And number fact three is um, make sure they have a big cage. Fact four is um, if you have a very aggressive or vicious guinea pig, make sure to block a half off of the cage because they can fight. And if they draw blood, you could separate them. But make sure not to make sure you they can still see each other because if because if they're alone, they can sometimes die of it. So make sure you give them lots of veggies and separate them if they fight. Don't worry, my guinea pigs do not fight. They love each other. Fact four: Make sure there's a lot of com. I mean, fact five: Make sure there's a lot of hay in it. I've already told you about this, but they love burrowing. Fact six is: Guinea pigs love to explore, and in the summertime, I really recommend you put them in an outdoor cage. But if you don't feel secure leaving them outside for the night, you can take them in into the indoor cage. It's totally fine. But if it's like boiling hot, I highly do recommend you um, put it in the, they, they stay outside because houses can get very hot in the summer during the night. And here's the last fact. You have to get some, make sure you, you give them a plate each because guinea pigs do not love sharing. And make sure you have a big like igloo little house for them and a little one because sometimes guinea pigs guinea pigs love being together but sometimes they don't so mostly if you want um a guinea pig give them a lot of hiding spots and all right now here's the place to bond with your guinea pig so mostly to bond with your guinea pig you need um get them out every night every single night and when you get them straight hold them it's okay if they bite because they're just getting used to you and um to bond with your guinea pigs just hold them every night feed them love them and and they'll start bonding to you like oreo if you can hear her so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed my um video this is my first ever video so i hope you finally enjoy it and i'll see you soon subscribe to get my next video bye